in this video we will discuss about the matrix method as we know for carrying out a complete eia study for a proposed project at a given location it is necessary to adopt appropriate eia methodologies for assessing the import uh, impacts and these are the methodologies here eight methodologies is shown but it is not limited to this uh, eight methodologies and in, in my earlier video ad hoc method and checklist methods are discussed in this video we will discuss about the matrix method matrix method provide a framework for interaction between different project activities and their environmental impacts it is a grid like table which is called matrix generally the rows is the horizontal axis of the matrix indicate impact and while the columns, the vertical axis indicate the project activities. Matrices provide cost-effective cost -effect relationship between the various project activities and their impact on the numerous environmentally important sector or components. It can also evaluate the cumulative and indirect impacts as well as interaction with resource. Matrix are the most commonly used method for impact identification in EIA and uh, matrix method was developed by Leopold Pold, and it is called the Leopold method uh, that method was developed in 1971. So there are two type of matrix generally two type of matrix a simple matrix and significance or importance rated matrix the simple interaction matrix consists of cells formed by combining two checklists where one dimension of a matrix is a list of environmental social and economical factors likely to be affected by the project activity and the other dimension is a list of action associated with the development the simple matrix, matrix indicates only the occurrence of an impact without any reference to its magnitude or significance. It is able to identify fast order effects but cannot show higher interactive effects between impacts. So this method consi considers the impacts of different project activities on different attributes of the environment in a qualitative manner not quantitative manner so this is an example of simple interaction matrix of a pulp mill and here you can see that environmental components are here in in row and project activities are in column and the and the impacts which is uh, or the uh, the the activity which project activities affect the impact is shown by uh, cross mark and the significance or importance rated matrix are significance or important rated matrix method requires either more extensive database or more experience to prepare Values assigned to each cell of the matrix are based on scores or assigned rating, not on measurement and experimentation. For example, the significance or importance of impact may be categorized no impact, insignificant or negligible impact, significant positive impact or significant negative impact, or unknown or uncertain uh, alternatively for example it may assign a numerical score for example 0 for no impact or 10 for maximum impact so it does not refer to quantity of the impact so it is a qualitative methods this is an example of health impact matrix of a operational stage of thermal power plant power plant and you can see uh, in case of uh, discharge of wastewater 
and in IPC against the disease of di digestive system, then you can see it is minus 2L. So minus means it is a negative impact, 2 is uh, called low impact and L is uh, long term impact. So here you can see that the plus is beneficial impact, negative is detrimental impact and 0 is no impact and 2 is low impact, 1 is very low impact, 3 is high impact and S for short term and L for long term impact. So again if you see the distribution of free nutritious food to nearby school children and against this digestive system uh, you can see this is plus 4L so the distribution of nutrients uh, with respect to disease of uh, digestive system so it is beneficial so the chances of disease are less and it is and in terms of the beneficial it is a very high impact that's why 4 is given and is a long term impact so this is our example of uh, importance significance and importance rated matrix now the Leopold matrix. Leopold matrix is a checklist uh, designed to show possible interaction between developmental activities and set of environmental uh, component or impacts or characteristics. This matrix has a horizontal axis column consists of project activities or actions which cause uh, environmental impact and the vertical axis that is row containing existing environmental conditions which may be affected by those actions. There is a list of about uh, 100 uh, project actions, uh, project activities or actions and about 90 environmental, uh, uh, environmental impacts or components or parameters. So it delivers a total of 100 into 90, this is 9000 interactions and each action and its potential of impacting each environmental uh, item is considered. So it is a very lengthy process and complex. So each cell is uh, of this matrix is diagonally divided with the value 1 to 10 and uh, top division the top division describes the magnitude of uh, of the impact and the bottom division is used to describe the significance of the impact the magnitude of the interaction that is intensiveness or x scale is described by assigning a value ranging from 1 for small ma uh, magnitudes and to 10 for large magnitudes. The assigning of numerical value is based on evaluation of available facts and data. Similarly, for a scale of importance um, also ranges from 1 that is very low interaction to 10 very uh, important interaction and assigning numerical, uh, numerical values for importance is based on subjective judgment of the interdisciplinary team working on the EIA study. So this is also qualitative measurement. So this is an example of a Leopold matrix of a dam project. So here magnitude of impacts and the significance of impacts is given against uh, project proposed action and uh, uh, action of the projects and obviously the environmental component. So now you can see uh, for this the immigration of labor if 
we, if you consider uh, for health, it is 5 is magnitude of impacts and second uh, 8 is uh, significance of impact. So accordingly, the total immigration of uh, labor in Leopold is 9 by uh, 14. 9 is derived from the sum of 5 and 4 and 14 is sum of 8 and 6. Accordingly, this table is prepared, this result of this uh, horizontal result and in case of vertical result for this health impact you can see uh, for example you know, we can take this yes and this is a 16 by 19 and the 16s come from the sum of 7 7 and 2 and 19 come from 7 plus 8 plus Four. Accordingly, this uh, table is generated, Leopold table, Leopold matrix is generated. So, in this particular uh, slides, uh, you can see there is an another matrix is Lohini and Than is given here. So, we'll discuss this later. But how the value is calculated? Just I give you. Uh, I hint here that the 64 come in particular this case is you have to multiply this so this is uh, 40 and this is a multiply of 4 and 6 is 24 so thus multiply this plus this accordingly these results come and in case of this horizontal case if we consider this so it comes from the multiplication of this that is uh, 49 then plus this that is 56 and this is 8 so 49 plus 56 plus 8 is equals to 113 but it is given 565 that comes from this value of priority value so here priority value is 5 so if you multiply uh, 113 into 5 it comes uh, 565 so in, in our next video some um, sometimes i will prepare a detailed uh, video on leopold matrix and other related matrix uh, in details so now the pros and cons of this matrix method pros is visually describe relationship between two sets of factors and the matrix approach is reasonably flexible the total number of specified actions and environmental items may increase or decrease depending on the nature and the scope of the study and the specific thought uh, for which environmental impact studies is undertaken so matrix can also be employed to identify impacts during the various parts of the entire project cycle that is construction operation and event post construction or dismantling phase and this method helps to trace direct or higher order impact on particular section of community so hence uh, it helps to separate site specific impacts from uh, impacts affecting region so the matrix serves both as a checklist and as a summary of impact assessment and hence is considered as the ideal tool for rapid assessment in comparison to other techniques matrix method represents ei results in a better way but there is some uh, shortcomings and if it, it does not explicitly describes spatial and temporal effects of the environmental activity but merely gives us the magnitude and significance of the interaction it does not establish the magnitude of relationship or the extent of any change 
it cannot explain linkage between two environmental aspects that is it does not describe secondary or tertiary impacts and there may be a chance of uh, double counting of impacts because large number of impacts is there and some are common and uh, and it is qualitative method and does not refer to any quantity of, of the impact so for more details you can read these references thank you thank you for watching this video